So the last topic uh, that we really want to talk about what? is kind of a big one. Uh, is just jumping right into it, starting with phase two of season of discovery, we're, we're going to be experimenting with a new policy change. What? Safety will no longer be permitted in season of discovery realms. Oh my God. To kind of recap uh, for anyone who does not know what GDKP or gold. A GDKP is essentially a money laundering scheme within World of Warcraft where people who buy gold, which is against the TOS, come into a raid group, spend money on items within a raid, and essentially wash that gold down from what was, you know, gold from a gold buyer, and they inject it, re-inject it into the economy with, you know, some bad actor players, some, you know, players like me who just need gold and we don't buy gold, so we go to these GDKPs to get gold. It's essentially a money laundering scheme within World of Warcraft, and they're rampant. I mean, if we logged in right now to, to World of Warcraft Season of Discovery, there's going to be GDKP, GDKP listings all over the place. Countless videos talking about how terrible it is for the economy, how terrible it is for the player base, how bad GDKPs are and how they need to be destroyed. And honestly, I can't believe Blizzard is actually about to do something about it. Bid uh, raids or dungeons are, it's essentially a raid or a dungeon run where the loot rules uh, uh, or is that all loot that is uh, distributed is essentially purchased with gold. Mm -hmm. So items, uh, an item will drop, it's then put up for bid uh, by the loot master or whoever's doing the the, the loot, uh, and interested bar parties then bid gold for the item. When the highest bid wins, and when the gold is received, it's split within the participants of the raid. This is something we've been discussing for a very long time on WoW Classic, and it's not a decision we've arrived at lately. How do they, how do they enforce this, though? The GDKP has some benefits to individuals who don't want to be tied to it. Yeah, so the benefit to a GDKP is in, in raids, you might go through an entire raid and you might not ever get a piece of loot. You might never get the item that you're looking for. A GDKP incentivizes the entire group to get a reward out of the raid. Maybe you're full BIS. Maybe there are no items for you to get. Well, if you go to a GDKP, you can do the raid, you can do damage, and as a reward, since you don't need gear anymore, you get gold at the end of the run. It's essentially like a carry. So that's the big pro to GDKPs is it incentivizes everyone in the group to stay because everyone is guaranteed on a reward. It might not be a large reward because the pot might be small, but you are guaranteed some sort of reward from the run itself every single time, which is the big positive to GDKPs. A traditional guild or set raise schedule and GDKPs are, while largely transactional, another social activity in the game. And we're always hesitant to discourage anything that gets people in groups and playing together. Absolutely. However, we do remain concerned that GDKP erodes traditional guild and social structures that are in many cases the basis of our most fond memories of original World of True. Warcraft. And it's undeniable. For example, on Wrath of Lich King on Grobulus, the top four guilds on Grobulus were all GDKP guilds. Every single one of them. They 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 take over. Like like there's like before there's like social guilds, raiding guilds. Now there's social guilds, raiding guilds, and GDKP guilds. Goes that strictly do GDKPs. Well, the GDKP contributes to and drives a lot of malicious accounts, illicit activity, yep. RMT, botting, all of yep. the things we just talked it about. It drives a lot of it, yes. Season of Discovery is highly experimental. And it's because you can essentially turn gold into items. It's con it's kind of a convoluted process, but you can do it. Nature. And we're gonna, we take chances. And this is another chance we're taking. Uh, we want to give an honest try to a version of World of Warcraft without GDKP present. And this is our best opportunity for that. Sure. So as of the launch of Phase 2 on February 8th, GDKP will no longer be permitted in Season of Discovery. Uh, we're going to release uh, additional communications with a little another FAQ to kind of go with this FAQ, talking about this. And, you know, once we do, we'll have that posted on forums and stuff. We'd really like to hear uh, what you think. Um, and we're going to really monitor feedback closely on this. This ultimately, this is a test and ultimately this decision came as a result of your feedback. And so, uh, you know, we want to hear more of what you think of this. We want to hear how it goes as we move through this next phase. And if it doesn't work out, we'll revisit this policy for, for future phases. We really appreciate everyone who has expressed that feedback and concerns on this topic. Wow. Thank you. Actually a crazy thing that they're doing. So with